Another app that you can use to teach coding to your students is called the Foos. And for whatever reason, this is one of my favorites. Um, it looks like this. And this is a free app, and I really like it, especially for younger students. I think it's really engaging, it has fun graphics, and it's a really simple way to get started. So it's logging me in. Um, I'm just going to push the, I'm going to actually just X out of that and push the play button here. Okay, and it's just kind of giving me my stuff from the last time I played, so you can just ignore all of this little joyful things right now. Um, it's trying to kind of give me my little presents, so I'm just tapping on my presents from all the different levels that I beat the last time I played. So I'm going to hit my check mark, and now I can go back to playing. So I've already started this, so I'm going to tap on my world that I'm working through, and I'm going to be on level 6, so I'll hit level 6. And so you can see it progresses from easier to harder. And the purpose of this mission is to get the little characters to complete whatever it is they need to complete. So they do their little dance and get set up, and so now the goal is I need to get this gal to the donut. So I'm going to do, I'm going to change her direction because I want her to go one that way. I want her to go another step to get the second diamond, another step to get the third, another step to get the fourth, and another step to get the fifth. And then I can go ahead and tap her when I'm ready to go. And I got my donut, and she's super excited. And there are different levels. Sometimes you have to jump over things. Um, sometimes you have to do all sorts of stuff. So it does get harder and easier. But if I had my sound on, it has fun sound. The little creatures are funny. And it's a great way, especially with your, you know, um, pre-K, K, first grade, second grade, just a really nice way to introduce some of the coding and the computational thinking.